up guys my name is Talan you're watching gadget sphere so in today's video i'm going to tell you how you can overclock your monitor in the windows 11 the latest and greatest built of windows so first of all i'm just going to show you that this is the windows 11 pre-built this is not the insider preview build but it is windows 11 for sure and uh, as you guys can see this is windows 11 pro and it's running on 21996 version so now i'm going to show you how you can you know just overclock your sync master monitor by samson or any other monitor it does not depend upon the brand so first of all you have to just let me just verify that this is a 60 hertz monitor just go in screen refresh rate and this is a website which shows you at which refresh rate you are running your monitor currently at so you guys can see in the refresh rate this is my refresh rate it is around 60 hertz all right and now we are going to overclock it all the way up to 75 hertz or even more if it can support it so let's just get started first of all you have to go in this nvidia control panel if you have an nvidia card because this method is only for nvidia users and i don't know it will work on intel or not it will work on uh, amd or not because i have never tried an amd processor so let's just tap here and it will open now you guys can see it shows 60 hertz so now you have to first of all go here and add just desktop size and position tap on it scroll down and here you will see perform scaling on now in perform scaling on you have to always do it to display if you will do it to gpu it's not going to work anytime so always and always prefer display and one more thing you have to override this scaling mode set by games and programs just in case it will work well now you have to go and change resolution here you have an option called customize just tap on customize don't worry it's not a very you know uh, risky process but there is one thing i would like to advise just just don't mess up anything like don't touch this this or this even because yeah it can mess up your monitor so what you have to do now is so what you have to do now is you have to go here and you guys can see it shows refresh rate it says refresh rate and that is 60 now we are going to increase it slowly so i'm going to increase it by value of 5 let me just type 5 here now you guys can see it shows 65 now we are going to just press on this button called test i'm not touching anything else it is just the refresh rate now let's just press on this button called test and as you guys can see as soon as i press it says test successful now when it says test successful it means yes your monitor can support 65 hertz now if i press on ok and show you the proof so just as you guys can see it shows 65 hertz first of all and secondly okay as you guys can see it so shows 65 hertz first of all and then i can also prove you by going in this website called the screen refresh rate by ufo i don't know why they named a website such a weird name but yeah so by going in this website my internet is very slow so sorry for that i do not mean to disturb any one of you but actually it's just too slow now it isn't that slow anyways something wrong is happening i guess let's open a new website called screen refresh rate maybe maybe something wrong was happening but yeah so let's just open this website and then i will show you which refresh rate your screen is running at there you go screen refresh rate ufo test and now it is at 65 hertz as i told you it's running in 65 hertz now now what we have to do is we have to increase it to up to like okay my target was 75 hertz or even more than that first of all to do that you have to apply 60 hertz as you guys can see now i have again applied 60 hertz in the monitor 60 hertz it's running at and then you have to press on customize if you will not do that step it's not going to work that easy so then just press on edit here let's just type on with number okay let's type 70 okay 70 is done press on test and just be patient don't worry don't panic nothing is going to happen press on yes because yes the test is successful again i think we are in good luck now you guys can see it shows 70 hertz just press on ok and once you press just tap here and you will see it shows 70 hertz just press on apply and it will take a few seconds press on yes and there you go now it's running in 75 hertz now again i just wanted to confirm because yeah sometimes it doesn't happen so just go in screen refresh rate website once again and obviously this website has not sponsored me and you can see immediately while scrolling up and down that how smooth it is now and one thing i want to tell you this video is shot at 30 fps and 60 fps both 
so the main camera is 30 and the in display recording by obs is at 60. now you guys can see it is at 70 hertz okay do 70 habibi okay it's like 69.9 in seven that's basically 70 fps as you guys can see now yeah 70 hertz now i'm not going to close this website now and again you have to go here and now let's do the final test what we were waiting for will this monitor of samson which is around like six years old going to support 75 hertz in the original 900p resolution let's test it just go here and now the moment of truth i'm going to type 75 let's type 5 as you guys can see it shows 75 here press on test okay okay and there you go yes this monitor can support it say it says successful press on yes wait again okay 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 yeah press on okay and here just tap here 75 hertz is available and running my friends that's amazing and now you can just go in chrome once again and there you go my friends it's running in 75 hertz you can immediately notice it with your eyes while scrolling up and down oh my god that's really smooth like 15 fps is also a lot and you can really notice that and obviously you need a powerful cable or a powerful gpu uh, powerful graphic cards to run this much fps or hertz but still i'm really impressed now let's see how further it can go okay so i'm going to go above 75 but this time i just want to advise you if your monitor is 60 hertz already if you want to go above 75 don't go by five pairs because that might crash your system so again go and customize let me just tell you how you have to do it and then increase by one so let's just press on 76 press on test wait for it hope for it to work and boom there you go now what it means is my monitor can support up to 76 hertz so i'm going to apply that and again and there you go yeah it is working so yeah 76 hertz is also supported and once again the moment of truth there you go it's 76 now now the last thing we are going to do now is to see if it can support even more we are going to push it to its limits and i don't think it's a good idea and if you're someone who is who just has a new monitor i don't recommend you to do these things like don't push your pc to the limit because hey that might you know damage your monitor i don't know but yeah i just don't want you to push it to the limits now i'm going to increase one again and it's 77 and i think that's enough for me let's just test here and as soon as i you know press test there you go it is successful i mean oh my god <laughs> samson makes some really good monitors press on yes and i'm really excited to test out 77 hertz wow that's amazing yes and there you go okay you have to refresh the website oh my god oh my god the website i think i think crashed and yeah don't worry that this was not because of this because yeah it doesn't matter the web the website crashed but it's not the pc which crashed and there you go 77 hertz up and running without a problem without a doubt that's an amazing thing now if you want to go up to 80 and this time i'm not sure it's going to work or not so yeah i told you go in 900p and uh, okay now this is like the most you can do but i don't recommend you to doing because 77 is enough but let's do it 80 press on test okay okay now it says not optimum mode which basically means that yes it is not going to support 80 hertz so yeah be happy with your 77 that's also enough just type again 77 press one yes okay it's already there go back go back and yeah so yeah my my monitor can be overclocked up to 77 hertz we don't know about your monitor but i think your monitor will also be able to overclock at least to 75 hertz and that is going to be awesome so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video this was a tutorial on how you can overclock your monitor from 60 hertz to 77 or 75 hertz and if you enjoyed this subscribing to my channel will be the best thing please please subscribe and support i just need you guys support and that's it thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace out